Hello, a very good evening. Welcome to the RSPCA once again. Tonight I've brought out Matilda to show you because Matilda's been at the RSPCA for a little while and um, I'm keen to show her to you because she's one of those dogs that doesn't do herself any favours when the public come to visit her. Uh, people go past and she tends to hide in the background and being quite a dark dog, she's not that easy to see. So not many people are asking to take her out into the paddock to uh, be looked at. So hopefully we can change that situation for her this evening. Uh, the sky scan today is showing sunny conditions around the metropolitan area. Came after a pretty cool night last night in some areas, down to six degrees at Gosnells this morning, seven at Bullsbrook and at Northern, but Lancelin, the minimum, was 16 degrees. Perth dropped to nine. That was recorded at 20 minutes to four this morning, and the maximum was 23.2 at 23 past two this afternoon. 18.5 at the moment, the winds are west-northwestly at 13 kilometres an hour, the barometer falling and the relative humidity 64%. Daytime temperatures look up to the north and out to the east. 26 at Lancelin and Northam today, 25 was reported at Bullsbrook and Gosnells and down at Dwelling Up it only reached 19 degrees, that was the equal lowest in the state. 19 was also reported at Cape Lewin, at Bridgetown, at Witchcliffe, and 40 was the highest maximum. That was recorded at Wyndham, at Fitzroy Crossing and Mandora. Uh, the lowest overnight minimum was one degree. That was recorded at Newdigate. There were some falls of rain in the Kimberley up to five millimetres overnight and down on the south coast, Albany had a total of three millimetres. Now, you're seeing Placid Matilda at the moment. She can be a pretty lively dog. We took her for a run during the course of the afternoon and you'll notice that she loves her toys, particularly balls. She's a dog that's going to expend a fair bit of energy, so at least a couple of good walks a day or a run around the park isn't going to hurt her. She's about two years old. She was surrendered to a vet and when she came into the RSPCA she had quite a severe ear infection. So you'll notice one of the ears is constantly floppy. It looks like that's going to remain the way for the course of her life. Uh, she's going to come to you if you adopt her with a level one dog training, which is going to be good. Looking for a family maybe without small animals because she's got that tendency with balls and toys and also looking for a family uh, with children probably no younger than 16. And again, that could be because she'll compete for the toys with the younger children. But as you can see, she's been lovely with me this evening, good temperament, probably sit on your lap and watch Channel 10 all night. On to our series of satellite photographs and you will notice that we have got a cold front off the southwest corner of the state uh, and that's going to move on to the lower southwest during the course of the night and tomorrow producing showers. On the chart you'll see the winds will pick up for the south coast, a warning is out from Lewin to Albany, fire weather warning for the Eucla and the Goldfields. Rainfall, the Bureau suggests the showers will get to Durian Bay and across to Hopeton, but not much will go inland. Uh, showers are also possible late in the day in the southwest of the Pilbara, northeast of the Gascoigne and the northern goldfields. Temperatures tomorrow in the southwest district 17 to 19 degrees, but most of the southwest land division will be above 20 and very hot out in the Eucla, Eucla itself heading for 38. The national forecast is for, well, generally sunny conditions in most areas. Adelaide, after all their bad weather, is getting a 28 tomorrow, Melbourne a 26, 36 up in Darwin and 19 expected in Hobart. On the waters west to northwesterlies, 15 to 20 knots. We'll go south to southwesterly, 10 to 15 knots during the morning. Southerlies in the afternoon will ease to about 10 knots. The seas will ease to about half a metre in the afternoon from the 1 to 2 metres. And the west to southwesterly swell between 1.5 and, and 2.5 and metres. Low tides 0.6 of a metre at 17 minutes past 3 in the afternoon and the high tide at 28 to midnight tomorrow night. So for Perth, a shower or two mostly in the afternoon. 1 to 4 millimetres is the expected range. A minimum of 13. Tomorrow's maximum should reach around 21 degrees. Friday, slight chance of a shower, 23 degrees. Saturday looks like it's going to be wet, 6 to 20 millimetres and an estimated maximum of 20 degrees, easing up on Sunday. And the best part of next week is the 25s and 26s midweek. I'll see you later. Good night.